It starts with an itch and a tingle And then it builds and expands And suddenly all at once My legs won't let me stand I start to my fingers go numb Yeah, this is Roots But this can never please Okay, I'll be right there Don't let CSI touch anything this is Dr. Prudence Bennett. Of course. Yes, I'll be right there. And don't let anybody touch the body. Special Agent Soggy Roots, FBI. All right, what do we got here, Doc? Pile of bones. Yeah, to a Philistine, perhaps. But I'm a forensic anthropologist. Well, forensics doesn't solve crimes, detective work does. Forensic anthropology provides invaluable insight into crimes. People can lie to you, but their bones can't. The Attorney General didn't pull me away from a mass grave in Honduras to deal with imbeciles like you. Oh well, yeah, because I read this article from Brazil back in 2016. Found a man hanging. I did still on him and everything. They still couldn't confirm what happened to him. So? That was clearly police error. The anthropologist on the case found cause of death and told the authorities how the victim would have looked. They knew his age, race, sex. The bones tell you who he was, but they can't make anybody claim him. Okay, so what about that other case from Brazil? 2015, partial remains, no identification, no cause of death. The bones were degraded by chemicals. The anthropologist on the case still uncovered his race, age, sex, and height, despite only having a partial skeleton. I mean, he was missing an entire iliac crest. The police sanctioned techs on the scene failed to recover all the bones that were scattered likely due to animal predation. It's impossible to prove cause of death unequivocally without the entire skeleton. It's like trying to solve a riddle with the last line erased. Yeah, so what cases have your bones solved? Forensic anthropology gives victims back their identities, detective. The Campbell County Doe in the 80s spent decades as a cold case until anthropologists gave her her face back and returned her to her family. Hell, forensic anthropology put away in John Wayne Gacy. Remember him? His 33 victims were identified through forensic reconstruction. So, now will you let me do my work? <sighs> what are you gonna do anyway? There's nothing left of the poor guy. Actually, a wide pelvic girdle and the open sciatic notch indicate that the victim is female. From the development of the sternal rib ends and the pubic symphysis, she was between 17 and 22 years old. Fully erupted third molars confirm age. The small zygomatics and narrow nasal aperture are typical caucasoid features, as are the flat maxilla and straight prognathism. We can measure the long bones and apply an algorithm to determine height once we get back to the lab. Give me a list of missing girls under 25 in the area. Is that it? I wasn't finished. Postmortem abrasions indicate animal predation, and dentition would suggest rodents. Judging by the adipocere and state of decomp, and accounting for the scavenging as well as the cool, damp climate, I'd say the victim has been dead approximately nine months to a year. Okay, so that narrows down the time window. Any idea for an ID? Well, she likely grew up in an impoverished rural area and suffered from childhood obesity. And she played softball. Right-handed pitcher. But serious? How could you tell that? Here, look at the ossification. Her ribs show pitting and porousness consistent with malnutrition. Her dentition, 
her teeth are stained, likely because there was no fluoride in her water source growing up. There's strain on her bones, indicative of carrying excess weight. See the compression on her 12th thoracic vertebrae? And finally, her right humeral head shows wear due to grinding in the glenoid socket from a repeated motion like this. Wow. Okay, um, any idea on cause of death? Well, it's too early to say for certain, but her hyoid does appear to be fractured, which occurs during strangulation. That's all I can glean from an initial examination. I'll need all of her bones brought back to the lab and cleaned before I can get a complete analysis. Okay then, Doc. Guess you've proven your point. Oh yeah, because... Oh I yeah? Do that. Okay. Oh yeah! <laughs> this is fun! <laughs> Murder! <laughs> you could be a voice from My Little Pony. I don't deny that. Okay. Oh yeah? Because I read this article from... Shit. And this beveling here comes from it being a fish and not a person. And I'm doing this because I'm a professional. But there's also minimal, um, whatchamacallit, so... It's a start. <laughs> Give me a list of girls under 25! Missing, sorry, wait. What? Give missing me a list girls. Of girl, give, me a, give me a list of girls under 25 missing in the area. But don't pause awkwardly because it sounds like you're saying, give me a list of girls! Which is creepy, I don't know. Cute! <laughs> give me a list of girls under 25 in the area. You didn't say missing. You just want a bunch of young ladies in the area. If I wanted that, I would just go on some sketchy website and get a weird ad. You could just, yeah, just click any <laughs> pop-up ad. Girls in your area under 25. Ooh, Coraline wants to talk to me. That makes me think of the button eye girl. <laughs> Is that what you're into? No. That's what comes to your mind no. first. Yeah. I don't think I've ever read a name. Sure, I got this all on film. <laughs> your girlfriend's gonna love this. No. Okay. Maybe she knows her next Halloween costume. <laughs> or birthday present. <laughs> Give me a list of girls under 25 in the area missing. <laughs> <laughs> you want them missing. <laughs> Give me a list of all the girls you've picked up in your van in the area. I'd like to pick which one I'll have tonight. <laughs> You're not ordering off a menu. <laughs> You're trying to identify a corpse. Take this seriously, detective. It's only because I'm, I'm Agent Hoover's granddaughter, sir. <laughs> my name my name is Soggy Roots. Were you really gonna take me seriously? <laughs> I thought you grew up in a mangrove forest or something. <laughs> you know, you're just a transfer from Louisiana. In the area under 25, she's missing. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> that is not correct. Remember him? <laughs> my glove <40. laughs> That was amazing. Yeah, okay. Uh, so what are you gonna do with the corner now? Yeah. Okay. Is there someone down here? Yeah. That was so scary. Looks like you're in the right place. <laughs> well, I hope these are the right place. They all kind of look the same, but they're all slightly different. Yeah, because I read this. Br mm. Oh, yeah, because I. Mm. Oh, yeah? Like, it's not, oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah? yeah? Oh yeah? Cause I thought, cause I read this article. Oh yeah, so what cases have your bones solved? So what cases have your bones solved? Cause my bones personally have not solved cases. <laughs> it's my brain that does that. My bones just keep it all together. Okay. And what are you gonna do anyway? There's nothing left of the poor guy. Oh, I wasn't supposed to be down here yet. I mean, I wasn't wrong in thinking this is the best place on the crime scene. Yeah, the whole house looks like someone's been dead in there for a long time. <laughs> like a struggle occurred in my house. No. <laughs> but this place seems like we find a body. Yeah. We found a lot of bodies down here, just not human ones. Welcome to hell. 
You're all going to hell. Goodbye. There's just a soggy dancing in my basement. <laughs> You're the creature that haunts it. This is this is natural actually. I found you here. <laughs> Origin story revealed. Bull. Forensics doesn't solve detective shit. Every time. <laughs> Forensic doesn't solve detective. Bull. Forensic anthropology doesn't solve case. I. Bull. Forensics doesn't. Forensics <laughs> doesn't. Forensics doesn't solve crime. Yeah, Detective work I does. Google it, everything. This is not good. That's a bull. Forensics doesn't solve detective. Shit. <laughs> That's a bull. Forensics doesn't solve detective. <laughs> the wide pelvic girdle and the open sciatic notch. That. Oh, mm -hmm. Agent Soggy Roots, DC Metro. We got here. Pile of. I'm gonna pull a Claire. Hello. Hey. Look at your living room. Will you walk back in? I don't know. Damn it, this is taking too long. No. Fable. <laughs> I can't see you at all, Fable. <laughs> oh. Why am I recording? Action. Oh, Are I you gonna call oh me? yeah, I have to call you. Oh shit, my phone's on silent. Give me a second to change. Oh, yep. Yes? This is Dr. Prudence. Forget my name. What's my name? Special Agent Soggy. I forgot my name. And was it not recording? Dude, did you not press the button? I did. I guess it stopped recording. I thought it was not recording. Ah! Wow. <laughs> that was interesting. <laughs> my phone almost fell.